Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to be doing a beer review on Revisions Suckafish Ten Tantalizing Triple IPA. Yeah. Kind of excited about this one because it's got three of my favorite hops in there. It's got some Amarillo, it's got some Simcoe, and it's got some what was the mosaic? Mosaic, mosaic. Yeah, so uh, all, the really all some good hops, in really there. popular one these past yeah. couple of years. Yeah. Yep. This beer comes in at a eleven and a half percent and a hundred and twenty IBUs supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it gets an average rating of four point one four on Untapped with just over 1,200 check-ins. So it's still a relatively new beer. Um, it's supposed to have a lot of fruitiness to it, uh, a lot of maltiness. All right, initial smells. I get a, uh, a, lot, I, of, a lot of piney, citrusy notes. Well, yeah, a lot of piney. This is kind of what I expect from the hops yeah. that we're putting in here. Piney lemongrass? Yeah. This smells like an IPA I'm going to enjoy. feel almost like Lemon Pledge. Uh, this is this is good. This is not the best uh, triple IPA I've, I've had, but this is very, very drinkable. This is, this is... I think all of the mosaic is just in the aroma. I don't think it's yeah, any in the it's flavor. Got, it's got a... I'm going to say like kind of almost a botanical... Like if you ever got like really heavy botanical gin. Yes. Clarity though. For a very triple. Very nice. I can see right through it yeah you know i can see the camera right through there's this no, thing no there's problem. no cloudiness in this no beer cloudiness though. supposedly it's supposed to help with the aromatics of the beer okay. check that out so now i have a very nice head basically it smells the same okay <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as this is warming up, I'm, I'm definitely getting more dank notes to this. This is more, um, the, the bitterness is coming through a lot more. Um, I think the aroma is starting to match the flavor. The mosaic that they described in this was probably just the aromatics. I think so too. And uh, probably Amarillo was probably the bittering, and Simcoe was probably like a wet hop or probably. Some, some kind. Yeah. I think it's thinner than I would expect from a triple. Mm -hmm. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. No. Sometimes when it's too syrupy, it's kind of hard to drink. Yeah. You know, it's just... I think that makes this beer almost a little bit dangerous mm -hmm. because it is too easy to drink. It and... drinks. It drinks like a low end double, like maybe like a like a eight percent. Up. I, I personally am getting more of a, uh, a kind of a tangerine candy, uh, orange candy flavor from the malt. Uh, it, it is, the maltiness is coming out as it warms yes. up. As it warms up, it's definitely getting sweeter. Mm -hmm. You can taste the more sweetness because this is a triple. Yeah. So it's going to be heavy on the malts. So it is, when, it's, it, when it's colder, you don't taste as much, but no. when it warms up. The warming up, the bitterness does go down and the the sweetness kind of sweet, comes out. Sweet honey, yeah. sweet golden flavor to the, a blonde. The bitterness tends to go towards the back end. Yeah. The sweetness tends to be more prominent. Still a good beer overall, very enjoyable. Um, I, I, I liked it because I think it was kind of, it, it didn't quite scratch the tropical IPA itch that I sometimes crave, but it's also got a, a kind of a Northwest uh, traditional, traditional IPA flavor yeah. to that. It's kind of got the blend between the two. So it's got some really good dank notes to it, but it's also got a sweetness when it warms up. Yeah. Very good. I don't know if I'd probably buy another bottle of this. I am very happy I got a bottle of this. I think I would probably get another bottle. I think I would probably buy it uh, 
like a, a tulip if I saw it on tap. Yeah. I think I'd do that and be very happy with it. Um, but I don't know if I'd buy another bottle of it. Uh, I, I got a lot of friends that really enjoy the more traditional IPA style, so I think I would get it and just share it with them. Maybe, yeah, maybe doing something like that to where I'm sharing it with people. That would be fantastic. I think that this is a great beer to share with people, um, especially people that are impressed just by number-wise. 11.5%, yeah. 120 IBUs, and it has this tropical aroma, but then it's bittering. So it is... A, a semi-complex yeah. I triple IPA and people will be impressed yeah. if you you came to their house and said hey check this out <laughs> I got I got something to try today it's the champagne of the triple IPAs yeah there you go Maybe. Right? I don't know that's, that's a thing I don't know good beer though it is a very good beer well thank you for joining us uh, I'm John this is Hops and Brews um, if you like this video hit like hit subscribe uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even on Tap. Uh, I check in a lot more beers than I do. All of it is um, hops and brews. Check me out. Links in the description below. Thanks, guys. Bye. Cheers. Bye. So it's got Amarillo, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Simcoe yes. Yeah. All, right. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to be doing a beer review on... Damn it. <laughs> Suck a fish. Suck a fish. I like Suck to say the fish. brewery, yeah.